I don't believe it. There's no way. This guy. So Team Bortle, obviously, we I, I saw him at the regional. I did not see what he was playing. This dude was playing Trekstar at the regional. Did it better than me. And I didn't know about it until right now. There is some serious issues going on with that guy. So today, we took Trickstar to Locals. We ended up taking this deck to Locals, guys. Almost card for card. I did change up a few things, just minor things that I thought were improvements. So we did take this deck to Locals. I'm going to show you guys the rounds by rounds. You guys can go ahead and see each of the matches as well. So you can take you guys with me. I'm also going to show you guys a quick deck list that I played as well. But if Bortle went 7-2 at the same regional, I went X-2-1. That means he did better than me with Trickstar while I was playing the best deck in the room, Branded Chimera. No, no copium, no bias. That's something I can't just let slide, guys. So we are going to have to take back. He not only played Trickstar, he excelled with Trickstar, and it's something that we have to take back as we are the self-proclaimed king, king, king. Damn it! <laughs> we are the self-proclaimed king of this deck. And I cannot let this slide. We're going to take this to locals and we are going to top. All right, guys. I just want to go ahead and show you guys the quick profile before I show you guys the matches of what we went up against. Um, uh, this deck actually was very, very surprising in how well it played. Uh, I personally believe that there are a few changes I'm going to be making in the next video. I go ahead and make about taking tricks charts to locals. But I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I took today. It's very, very similar to Bortles build. I did change up one or two things just because the things I personally, uh, well, up to personal preference. Uh, but I'll show you guys here in just a little bit. So we did play, of course, three copies of Trickstar Candina, uh, two copies of Light Curse, one Lily Belt, and one Corbane as he played as well. I did miss a third Light Curse a lot of the time, I felt, so I may switch that up to three in the next uh, profile. Uh, three copies of Fenrir, of course. This is not changing, this card's busted. Uh, uh, one thing I really like about this deck is that it can play a lot of hand traps. So we play three Ash, three Valor, three Droll, and three Imperm as our hand traps for the entire matchup. Um, I mean, this was actually super, super crazy. It's cool because you can actually just side out whichever hand trap is just not helpful for the um, for the matchup, depending on what you guys are going up against. So that was a pretty neat interaction to have. And then for the spells, we played three copies of Light Stage, of course, four copies of Light Stage, I should say, with the terraforming, three copies of Prosperity, two copies of the um, Super Poly, for consistency and blowout cards and then we also played uh, of course the one thrust with the one copy of talents uh, I surprisingly like this a decent amount <laughs> which is kind of weird uh, I always thought it was kind of a weird way to go ahead and play it but actually performed really really well I never saw myself breaking on either or I uh, played one Ready Fusion, one Instant Fusion, one Harpy's Feather Duster as well. We can go ahead, go ahead and search this. Actually came in super clutch against the um, the Sword Soul and against our Rescue Ace matchup. So that was really nice as well. And the last spell is one copy of Called by the Grave, of course, as uh, we don't want to get trolled ourselves and we don't want to get ashed, imperm, whatever it might be, on a necessary search. Let's go ahead and get that out the way. And then three copies of Trickstar Reincarnation, which is absolutely the best trap card ever printed easily. Uh, that's going to be it for the main deck, 40 card main deck for the extra deck, guys. We did add a little bit of sauce. I'll just go ahead and show you guys here in just a second. Uh, of course, SP, Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Phoenix, and Holly Angel. Again, it's pretty, pretty standard as far as what uh, Bortle played in his, uh, in his list as well. So I highly recommend you guys check his list first. Of course, he's the one that topped up the regional, not your boy. Uh, well, I did top with a different profile, with a different uh, deck, I should say. Uh, Bear on the floor, of course, at one. Uh, Typhon Zeus were the Exes, and he played Constellar Pleiades. I opted to play Artifact Durendal instead of the Pleiades. I like Durendal because the second effect says you can detach him, Exes material from this card. Each player with a hand shuffles their entire hand into their deck, then draws the same number of cards they shuffle into the deck. So you're adding additional burn damage with Lycoris. Uh, plus, in the event that you happen to draw a Droll, you can just actually reincarnation Droll them, and you're forcing it out yourself instead of having to wait for your opponent to do it for you. So that is really a, a cool versatility, I thought. 
as well instead of necessarily having the Pleiades which requires you to have two level lights so you need to do make it with Corbane. I thought Corbane was fantastic in this duel, in this match I should say, in this uh, tournament I should say, in this locals as far as just boosting the attack damage things like that but for the fusions guys we play 1000 ice restrict which was really funny <laughs> actually came in clutch against our dark world matchup um, we ended up taking a big barefoot and then uh, link summoning the this guy along with another uh, monster that our dark world opponent had given us in order to make a sp and then we sp banished the car they had on the field which i thought was really funny uh, C Monster Theseus Flame Swordsman. So I'm playing this instead of the Giltia because it is still at a level five, uh, which you actually go ahead and use. You can make these. You can use these two to go into Baron, and you can also you can do uh, eggs overlay these two. You can overlay these with a, with a Core Bane to go into the uh, artifact card. So really really nice niche slow combos there. Actually came up quite a bit during the uh, during the whole tournament. Uh, one Garura, one Mud Dragon of the Swamp, and the other two, which is going to be one Dragon Knight, a Draco Equist, and one Guilty Gear Fruit Steel Knight for our Fusion Super Poly targets. And then for the uh, side deck guys to play 3 Nib, 3 Shifter, which I actually did not like at all, uh, so I'll probably end up doing something else instead of the Shifter, just personally speaking. Uh, it just never, well, I just never saw it. That was the main issue. It came up super clutch, but I just never saw it. Uh, one thrust again for the additional searches. Uh, one lightning storm, which I believe he did not play an additional thrust. He played something else potentially. So uh, yeah, there's that. One additional super poly and one copy of change of heart. You already know, guys. We got the QCR uh, change of heart. Looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that shine. <laughs> uh, so that was it for our spells. In the side deck and the last cards that we cited, of course, guys, uh, as he did, we played three copies of Trap Trick and two copies of Dimensional Barrier, just so we can go ahead and have the outs for things like Sword Soul or any type of brand strategy and Trap Trick to go ahead and either search this out or our Trickstar Reincarnation or our Infinite Permanence, which we actually did end up doing. I don't remember if that's one of the ones that I recorded, but yeah, that's going to be it for the profile, guys. Uh, honestly, like I said, the deck performed a lot better than I really expected. I really thought I was just gonna go winless the entire uh, the entire event, but I'll go ahead and let you guys see it, and then we'll go ahead and talk right after. Yo, what is going on, you guys? I am doing my first dub of a duel here, so it's gonna look kind of weird, but here we go. So my going up against my opponent's playing Sword Soul, doing Sword Soul things. Game one, we are able to stop the tie with the effect failure if he does set the blackout, but we do draw into the Harpy's Feather Dusters. We're gonna go ahead and activate this here, wipe that out, and then we're gonna activate Light Stage to search our copy of Candina, hoping to go full combo. But my opponent Droll and Lockbirds us, so we. We are left with nothing but go ahead and set an imperm pass he does have a blackout in the grave he goes to get activate taya to banish the blackout i imperm for getting that blackout gets in the token anyway so it goes full combo essentially on me summon she shall and then proceeds to absolutely give me the absolute work in this game guys <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure we get OTK right here. Uh, Light stage, of course, he's reading it. I understand, definitely understand. A lot of people have not seen this card in forever. If he goes again, gets along you on. He's not locked into anything. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but he goes ahead and synchro summons into his copy of Bear on the Floor. So he is pretty much good to go from here. He already burned me for 12. So we are gonna go straight into that second game. Uh, that was a very, very short game. One, a, a the droll definitely hurt a lot. If he had not been drolled. My theory was to go uh, normal summon Candina to search the Lycoris, punch uh, Candina, punch over the Taya, uh, activate in battle phase Lycoris, special summon Lycoris, Lycoris beat over the Tenyi, uh, and then we should have been good to go from there to go ahead and set up our back row because Lycoris and then backed up with like an imperm something like that it could have worked out a lot better in our favor of what we of course that's not how it uh, how it went down we got drilled and that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes so we are shuffling up we're ready for our game two now here guys uh this uh, i haven't played trick start in for it's been a very very long time pretty sure it's been over a year since my last profile but uh like i said portal went out he he uh topped regional so now it's our turn to go ahead and claim back our uh, undisputed trick star champion trick star king crown so we are on a mission here guys 
I'm going to start off with terraforming, searching our copy of Life Stage, of course, activate Life Stage, go ahead and search out our Candina, best card in the entire deck. Uh, all, all treasure cards are the best cards in the entire deck. Let's be real here. Normal summon Candina to go ahead and search out our copy of, I'm not sure if we search out Reincarnation or Lycris here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wait and see, shuffle, 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 and we're going to search out a copy of Lycris. I believe we did have potentially draw in hand, so I'm waiting to do like a uh, draw Reincarnation combo, but with Sword Soul, it really would have not been the best of plans considering they could have just normal summoned Moye and going off from there and then the draw reincarnation combo would have come up until far later on so he's going to go ahead and special summon the Ecclesia Ecclesia is a tuna which I completely forgot about but that's completely relevant he's going to normal summon Moye uh, reveal the blackout again we imperm but as I said I forgot the freaking Ecclesia is a, is a freaking tuner man so he goes to read Candina one more time goes into Shishao and then proceeds to pretty much give me again the work again uh, because he's going to be adding two cards to hand I want to hand tag out with Lycoris just to give myself a guaranteed follow up if I last that long with my Candina. So we are able to burn him with just a little bit. It's going to go ahead and activate Long Yuan, special summon Long Yuan, and then proceed to give me the absolute work. I believe he can still make Baron because he hasn't done any 10 E plays, but he might go into Sinister instead. Uh, Sinister is going to burn me for 12 anytime I special summon or uh, activate a Spell Trap, I believe. So absolutely just a ridiculously good card, uh, especially in time, uh, which we definitely did not get to. We definitely ended up playing two additional rounds after this, and it gave me the quick 2-0 work again. A lot of practice needs to be done left with this deck, guys, but we are here trying to do something. Uh, so of course, he's got his Banish, he's got his Burn 12, he's got Got his chi shout on board uh we have the light stage still on board and we have a card set i believe we have a set called by the grave so we're good to go from there <clears throat> so uh, we activate the light stage targets back or activate was it called by the grave so he targets the lycoris banishes it unfortunately uh then we normal summon candina activate the effect uh, which then he effect bails and we respond with our own called by the grave and of course he still chi shout negates the candina which is perfectly fine uh, and then we activate instant fusion hoping to go into something a little bit crazy seeing what we can do from here So we actually go ahead and special summon out the uh, Thousand eyes restrict which was which I thought was really funny and then he of course just absolutely destroys me and the camera falls over <laughs> All right guys round number two. We are going up against the boy Jesus uh, he's been playing for a little bit, so he, he he was warning me, you know, hey, I might misplay a little bit, whatever. But he was a, a actually super cool guy. Um, he's playing Dark Worlds, and he came from Master Duel, so there's a lot of things changing. So he's uh, he's activating Bigfoot sets two. Uh, we end up hitting the Genta, which I believe doesn't get in effect. Not too sure what happened there, but he flips Skill Drain on us, and which is actually devastating for Trick Stars. The one thing we can't do is get over big monsters, especially if they have a skill drain on board and shutting off our effects, so that is mightily inconvenient for us. Uh, we go ahead and Prosperity for 6, we get the... what do we get here? I believe we get the Reincarnation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh no, we get the Light Stage, okay, so we definitely don't have anything in hand. <laughs> Activate Light Stage Effect Surge, Surge Candina. Uh, then Candina is actually... Uh, I gotta add it to our hand? No, it's not. Which one are, which one are we getting? Uh, okay, we get Corvain, so we must have already had one. Oh, that's right. I believe we had Lycris in hand. Uh, so I was trying to go into Candina to go ahead and do the tag out, but it really wasn't going to help anything at all. Activate Light Stage, target the other uh, back row that he has set, which ended up coming up here in just a little bit. And then we actually normal summon, can normal summon the Lycris, I should say. Go into Battle Phase, declare attack, damage step. The Corvain effect to double the attack, make it 3200. So my opponent takes 400 here due to the Light Stage damage effect. Um, and then at the end phase, we are going to then have the ability to either send that card. He uh, tries to activate, but it, it needs to be the correct timing with Light Stage doesn't force the activation. And that was a big thing when the cards first came out and a lot of people wanted to activate like instant fusion. So we had a little bit of a, an explanation there. I know it's a little weird, uh, <clears throat> but we are ending board with not much out here on the guys. We have just the light grids on board. Uh, we ended up hitting the, uh, the I believe it was the fusion uh, spell for Dark World. Uh, he ends up getting the Mothman out, uh, beats over my Lycoris, my lonely little Lycoris. Uh, let me draw for turn, activate Light Stage, freeze the back row. Uh, special summon out our Fenrir, of course, Fenrir, best card in Trickstar right now. 
and then we go ahead and activate imperm for the uh, not only just the month mana but we also get to negate to the skill drain activate a fenrir effect go ahead and search out a second copy of fenrir and we are cooking from here on end uh, so we attack acceleration banish the face up skill drain beat over the mothman and we are good to go from there main phase two i don't believe we have anything uh he actually go ahead and activate dino miscus to banish our fenrir interestingly enough uh but doesn't have much follow-up so we just go ahead and special summon the fenrir that we just searched and search out another copy of fenrir of course uh so let me go ahead and punch with fenrir fenrir effect banish that field spell face down get that out of here we don't need any more dark world shenanigans i know the deck is extremely scary if it goes off he draws into uh, dark world dealings draws discards not something that he definitely wanted to do but again he's uh, new to the game and everything he has uh again a really cool guy just a experience type thing probably wait uh, I think he drew into a Grapha afterwards, so that would have been huge, absolutely huge. And we are still not drawing any can any Trickstar cards, guys. We are setting. I believe we have Effect Veiler set in defense position, and then we uh, flip into our copy of Effect Veiler and Normal Summon Draw and Lockbird to go into our copy of the SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight and Fenrir push for game. So <laughs> that'd be not the most optimal way that we wanted to go ahead and take that one, but uh, still a very, very interesting match. Uh, because Dark Worlds, again, they can just put up really, really big monsters and not have to worry about uh, effects, things like that. So skill drain is huge. Now, Homie did not have a side deck, so I chose not to side as well. Keep things fair, keep things clean. Uh, we draw into our upside down hand. We see a drone lock burden hand. I believe we see an ash blossom as well. And always going first, going to dark world dealings, draw and discard. And we had not already candy in hand, so I discard mine. And I believe we draw and lock bird him here. Uh, to go ahead and stop any Dark World shenanigans before he gets going. That's one thing I do love about Trickstar is that it can main deck it, but he absolutely gets us with the card destruction, which actually, looking back, I don't know if that's a legal activation because you have to draw, but I mean, whatever, man, it's locals. <laughs> Oh man, so I don't, uh, we had to get rid of our core bane. I had thrust in hand, prosperity, everything like that. Uh, so we actually special summons back the Genta on our turn, uh, on our field, which is actually mightily inconvenient because we drew into a copy of Fenrir, which was the only real thing that we could do. Uh, I just show him the Fenrir, I'm like, this is what I was trying to do. But we do have, of course, down at Light Stage, so we activate Light Stage, go into Candina, Trickstar, regular plays. Uh, then we normal summon the Candina, activate effects, go off from there, get the Lycoris. And then we proceed to, I believe, uh, that's it. And we're going to go battle phase and then tag out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, battle phase, punch, light stage, burn for 200. That's 2,000 damage in battle phase. Special summon out the Lycoris, tag back the Candina, punch for 16 plus 2, 1,800 damage. And then we set two cards face down and ready to go from there that genta is still extremely inconvenient to have and he flips the harpy's feather duster wiping our super poly i believe it was an imperm and the light stage as well uh so then he activates bigfoot special summons both silva and bigfoot which is again the biggest thing now he i already showed him the fenrir in my hand <laughs> so uh, so he's like no i'm not gonna attack the genta you can have that so that way i can't special summon fenrir so i thought that was really funny uh definitely a smart move by the homie uh, so then let's see. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do anything else here He's trying to look for something that he potentially do find an out But I do not believe he's gonna be able to find one. So we are in top deck mode guys. We are drawing into uh, The heat right here. We are actually gonna go ahead and activate our copy of instant fusion to get out our thousand ice restrict eventually after uh, after some consideration some back and forth uh, we get the Thousand ice trick because I'm thinking I'm uh, making I make maybe I make SP so then I go take the Bigfoot uh, And then we link off the Bigfoot with the thousand ice trick Well the uh, the Genta with the thousand ice trick to go into SP uh, And then we are clear to go from there SP banish and then we go normal Candina plays Lycoris and then we are pushing for damage now I'm not sure if I act if I attack with SP or if I stop myself here uh, because I don't think I can attack directly, but regardless. And we're off with game number three going up against our boy CJ. Playing Rescue Ace is definitely one of the most meta matches we've had so far this tournament. And I put it in 4x speed instead of 3x speed just because it's a very long, long game. So I want to make sure we are able to get through. So we're going to go ahead and start off. We're going to go first, get in Prosperity, get our Light Stage. Uh, activate Light Stage, activate Light Stage Effect to search. We're going to be searching out Candina, Candina... 
Uh, we're keeping our hands, special summon the Fenrir. Fenrir effect, since we already know we are not going to get Droll and Lockbird of this turn. Uh, to search out another copy of Fenrir, of course, number summon the Candina. Candina effect allows us to search a copy of Trickstar Reincarnation, which means we already have Lycoris in hand. Uh, which is kind of interesting, as we already know with Trickstar is a pretty telegraph as far as what we do have and don't have. CJ, my boy, reading the light stage. I'm also going to be posting this duel separately because it was a lot of fun to shoot this. We had actually my boy Dave and commentating on it, so it was a really, really funny match regardless. And we're going to end it with Lycoris 2 set. Uh, he's going to start off with a uh, reinforcement of the army, and then we have Lycoris burning him. So he is uh, making sure that he is aware that he's getting burned each and every single time he's adding a card to his hand. We got Airlifter adding the emergency. And then I believe he's going to activate the emergency here. There we go to get out the Fire Hydrant. Fire Hydrant, a very, very good card, of course. Fire Hydrant effect to get out the Turbulence. And Turbulence effect, of course, he's still going to be taking damage. Um, and then I believe we... Oh, no, he has to go ahead and tribute off for the emergency. And then we, of course, chain the Reincarnation, banishing the Turbulence from his hand. Hopefully, he does not draw into the HQ. And then we are off to go from there. There we go. Putting the reincarnation in the grave. A boy is thinking. Activate the sinful spoils card. Go ahead and get the Dia Bellstar out. Dia Bellstar. Shenanigans. There we go. Pitch Ash. Set the uh, sinful spoils spell. Uh, get rid of the Dia Bellstar. Especially coming out another copy of Hydra. We already won already. Can we out another one? Let's go ahead and see. He's going to set two pass. And then we are good to go from there. Draw for turn. Uh, he's going to go ahead and activate the card that pops when we actually he activates it in the imperm column with a hydrant set so uh summon so we actually imperm negate and then he change the emergency to go ahead and summon out the airlifter airlifter effect to get out a uh, alert i believe that is and we could have used fen right here but we're actually going to go ahead and use it just a little bit but because he activated monster effect we're going to activate triple tactics talents to rip the ash from his hand and now we are cooking boys we are going to go ahead and normal summon out the candina here in just a little bit of course thrust into reincarnation because why not uh we're gonna go trickstar candina get the lycoris and then we go ahead and get uh the fenrir search there's another copy of fenrir uh fenrir banish that face down punch for candina 18 and then we special summon lycoris out for another bit of damage and that is actually going to secure us game one against rescue ace definitely something i did not see coming for for sure um definitely definitely uh, the um the imperm column one was really big in this game of course uh you could go ahead and pop my fenrir uh which would have made it a little bit more difficult to go ahead and deal with it but we still of course had the uh, talents go ahead and rip of course and we you know take it from there Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and siding into game number two. I'm suspecting that I'm going to be going second, so I have the sauce, the heat going in for going second, guys. We will see if I'm able to see any of it, though. The boy's going to go ahead and go first. Uh, CJ shuffling up. I'm shuffling up. We're going to go ahead and draw our hands. He's going to go ahead and take the first turn, and I believe he bricks. He sets the imperm, and we draw. We draw into lightning storm. Of course, he lightning storm that imperm. Get out of here. Nah, that's not a monster. So we're going to go ahead and normal summon out the Candina. Candina effect, search light stage. We get drilled, which stops our turn. Unfortunately, we can't do anything else from there. Uh, so we punch for 18, set to pass, and then we are just hoping he doesn't draw emergency. Of course, he draws emergency. Special summon out the rescue ace hy uh, fire hydrant. Uh, and then we are going to, he's gonna, he activates the Chopo Tactics Talents thinking it was an activated effect to burn, but it was actually a continuous effect to burn, so Chopo Tactics Talents does not go off, unfortunately, for him. Uh, so he is able to go off and get out the Turbulence, but we already know we have the Trickstar Reincarnation to go ahead and banish that, of course. So he's gonna go ahead and chain, and we're gonna banish that. He actually draws into HQ from it, so he's gonna he's gonna continuously just plus off this uh, shuffle back four, draw one. Uh, Reincarnation is kind of like a double-edged sword against uh, Rescue Ace because if they have HQ, then they're still they they can just shuffle it back and draw regardless. So I always think that's pretty funny. And right, normal summon out the impulse, um, <clears throat> and then I believe he's gonna go ahead and link summon here, so he can summon out the preventer, summon out into 
the SP Little Knight, which I believe he could have gone, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not, you know, a rescue ace player, but he could have gone and link Karibo and then make the SP in order to uh, banish Candina, but I believe he just wanted to go ahead and, you know, push for damage, didn't think he needed that. So he's going to go ahead and push, push, he attack with the Preventer over, and then I actually, when he attacks with SP, I chain the Reincarnation Special Summon back to Candina, now he can't beat over because Candina, surprisingly, is 200 attack points stronger. So, then we're going to go ahead and battle phase, punch over the SP so we don't have to deal with that nonsense anymore. Activate light stage, get our copy of Lycurus out, special summon, uh, normal summon out there, send copy of Candina. And that's going to allow us to search out our copy of Corbin. Corbin, of course, is an extremely good card in this, uh, in this instance because it's going to allow us to get double the attack points on there. I don't think my math was completely there when I was uh, when I was doing this though because I kept thinking that Candina's 1800 attack would double as 32. I was going to come up here in just a little bit. We could have potentially taken this game a little bit earlier but I digress. So we're going to go ahead and he's going to go ahead and activate the Diabell Star stuff. Special summon out Diabell Star uh, and I don't know, add the Diabell Star and then we're going to go ahead and uh, just reincarnation that. <clears throat> so get rid of that nonsense and reincarnation droll i believe actually so yeah he's not even able to activate hq so we are cooking from there he punches over my candina which is fine and then we proceed to uh draw for turn there we go so he has no cards in hand i'm feeling pretty confident right about now uh we have the normal summon of candina we are able to go ahead and search out our copy of is it lily that we search out is there another copy of lycoris we do search a second copy of lycoris from our decks um, you know, activate Lycra special summon. Realistically, I probably should have activated the Pot of Prosperity a lot sooner because we actually get some super, super big time heat from this Pot of Prosperity. Um, so, I mean, that's just, a, again, it's a, it's going up against the the meta the meta deck. We actually go ahead and special summon out the Corbane. Go for Sea Monster CC has two level fives. Make Baron, Baron pop the field spell, punch over the Preventer, and we are cooking from there. He special summons back Impulse, which I probably should have negated back to the special summon. He activates impulse to negate my baron, activate baron negate, and then he chains the impulse, tribute for cost to go ahead and do his normal rescue shenanigans. Especially summon out the uh, the turbulence and turbulence effect to set four from his deck. Absolutely crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. So uh, how quickly the um, the the field shifts the the momentum i should say so he's actually going crazy he crashes into my baron which i think is hilarious uh unfortunately for me and then he brings it right back with the i think that's rescue he had set and then he goes pops one of my lycurses that's fine we normal summon out we he gets we get negated on our candina search unfortunately uh and then don't think there's much else we can really do from here guys this did become a very very close game actually i believe we got our boy CJ down to 400 life points, uh, and then he still was able. So we are one burn away, essentially. We had a Candina and Lycurus on board. Uh, so if he had a search or activate any spell, he would have just died from there. So very, very heads up play to uh, to avoid that. But we're going to go ahead and keep on going here, guys. Turbulence is going to reinforce the punch over the Candina, uh, which deals with even more damage, guys. We are actually very much struggling here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and top deck. I believe that's a thrust in our hand, if I'm not mistaken. So if he has the fire hydrant out on board, uh, we're going to thrust into our Harpy's Feather Duster. So that's going to help us out a huge amount uh, because it did activate the Impulse Hydrant. So we're going to go ahead and activate, of course, the Duster. Get rid of that nonsense. He special summons back. That's fine. Uh, so we are then going to look through what we can do. Activate Reincarnation. Special summon back the Lycoris. And then we are cooking again, guys. Uh, so we're going to normal summon the Candina, Candina effect to search our copy of, I believe, Lilybell at this point. Yeah, Lilybell. And then Lilybell is going to go ahead and special summon itself. And then Lilybell is going to go ahead and punch after he does his uh, rescue ace stuff. He's going to go ahead and be able to punt, attack directly with the Lilybell. Uh, punch for 800, minus 200 for the light stage. This minus 1,000 life points. Add back the Lycoris, Lycoris special summon. Tag out, put Lilybell back into our hand, and then we are good to go from here. So he will be able to go, of course, and then he is going to be taking 800 damage in the draw phase. Uh, he actually links summons into a Nightmare Unicorn. 
Uh, so he actually is at 400 life points right now, but he's not doing anything. And it goes into access code talker, which we are, I think, 2,000 life points with that, which is the Candine on board. He can just punch over it. We had easily, unfortunately, had to go into a game three so, so close into taking the 2-0 against Rescue Ace. But this was never going to be a completely easy, easy match against CJ. CJ's uh, definitely been playing this deck for a very long time, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, and myself, I'm playing Trick Start in a little bit. So, you know, a little bit of a learning curve definitely still from the Trickstar player, aka myself. Uh, we're going to be citing here. I believe I cited, um, it, I was thinking about citing uh, like Change of Heart in game two. Uh, but going into game three, I really wanted to make sure I maximized. So I put in my trap tricks um, to make sure that I'm able to see my reincarnations. I did not put in uh, D barrier since he, I don't think that CJ was actually, or Res Rescue Ace in general was ever going to do anything with that. Uh, he drolls me again, <laughs> unfortunately, on the search of Candina, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, guys. We are going to. Uh, then set our copy of trap trick if i'm not mistaken is that is that what happens <laughs> uh so you're gonna go ahead and go prevent your effect special summon he's got his whole board out right now oh that's what it was okay gotcha so we uh we wanted to we should have ashed the uh because we're, we're going in time right now we should have ashed the hydrant search uh, but unfortunately, we did not. So, I mean, it, it is what it is, guys. We're going to try to normal summon our Candina, try to find some type of loophole here. We're going to punch. It makes our attack zero. We, in the same uh, battle step, we tag out with Lycoris. Uh, then he reinforces his um, his Preventer with the Reinforce. And then we still chain Car Caravan so that we don't take a lot more damage. So we are still in an okay state of mind. Uh, then he passes back to us, normal summon Lily Bell, activate Lily Bell effect, uh, add back to Lycoris, uh, and then we are burning. We have a good loop here, guys. We could essentially just keep normal summon Lily Bell, but I mistakenly normal summon Candina and he ashes. So we currently do not have a way to, <laughs> to out the board anymore. He ends up taking it in time, guys. Great, great game overall. Definitely looking for, uh, forward to the rematch. Yo guys, we are back and we went X2 <laughs> at a three round local. It was our first time playing Trickstar in the longest time. I'm pretty sure we misplayed once or twice. The deck, like I said, it's a lot of fun to go ahead and play. I highly recommend any of old as old Trickstar players. I really, really recommend you guys at least check out Bortle's profile. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourself. Like I said, I've made a few changes here and there and I actually want to make this into a bit of a series taking Trickstar to locals. We already have our regional top invite so there's no real pressure as far as uh, performing to that level but i do want to see what we can do with trickstar to see if we can make it competitively viable again so if some of you guys are interested let me know by smashing that like button and comment down below what other types of decks you guys want to see me do like this or if you have any suggestions as far as changes i can make to this profile to make it just a little bit better let me know in the comment section down below and i'll go ahead and try it out for next week without further ado guys i hope you guys did enjoy Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.